lot of people talk about struggles and triumph and all the things that we go through. And I know that you've had your own personal struggles with a, a, your ex-partner also had mm -hmm. a brain tumour and passed oh, away and your husband with cancer. Yeah. So how do you keep moving forwards in life and remaining positive and have a good perception around what's going on and not sink into the grief? Well, my gosh, I certainly have sunk into the grief. Good. When You're it human. happened. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think that when you lose someone you love that you don't sink yeah. into the grief. And that's part of being alive. Um, I was how, did lucky. You, how did you come to a point where you could understand it, though, and, and wrap your head around why it had happened? It took me, you know, close to a decade to get through yeah. the first loss. I mean, I was really... It hit you hard. hit me hard, yeah. you know, threw me for a loop. Life and what helped by. eventually? Taking small actions, just little actions to stay involved in life. One thing leads to another. Yeah. Re, you know, being open to other possibilities. Um, keep digging deep. You know, you friends. Said it, it took you 10 years. Mm. Do you think there's anything that you know now that could have fast-tracked that? Many things. I think that... Um, yeah, I think realizing what the grieving process is yeah. about but you don't know when you're in it you're mm -hmm. just so deep in especially if you're young I was 31 and yeah. so it was a big loss and to try to understand that is a really difficult thing I mean I yeah. don't know none of us are ever equipped really to deal yeah. with death at any age so um, especially if it hasn't happened to you a lot you know if it no, hasn't been something no. that's part I of your say world that I lost my virginity my you know that virginity of thinking that nothing happens to you you when yeah. something does happen in your life and you say oh because before that, it happens to everybody else. So yeah. in another country or another family or another child, then suddenly it's like, you don't have that feeling now that yeah. it happens to everybody else. And when I first got married, I kept saying, my husband, we're so lucky. And he didn't really know what I was talking about because he always assumed he'd get married and have kids yeah. and life would be great. And then when Didn't he was know. diagnosed with throat care, he said, cancer, he said, now I know what you're talking about. Well, and that's the beautiful gift, in it, isn't it? You know, yeah. Because I think that I, I do a lot of interviews with people who've been through huge tragedy in their life, and there's yeah. always a gift. Totally. Um, and I think that that's the gift we see the world differently after something like that happens. Yeah, because it can. In one second, you get a phone call. I mean, if it's your life, that's another thing. I have not been through when it's me. Yeah. You know, I've only been through as the caretaker. Yeah. But yeah, I mean... In any second, it can all turn. It can go. Well, I don't yeah. want to leave us on a downer. So someone said to me, why don't you ask, like, if you could have any bite-sized snack while you're on the red carpet, what would it be? <laughs> it bite size? Yeah, like a bite-sized... Oh. Well, you could have a big one. We'll, we'll bring in a Big I'm Mac like, if you want. I am like... <laughs> but I just like a big thing of yogurt. I love frozen yogurt with sprinkles. <laughs> yogurt is your thing. I love it. Like, you know... Yogurt land, I'm going to be hitting it on the way back, I'm sure. <laughs> That's why I like, give me a scotch, only I like Well, you know what, you deserve it today after <laughs> doing your so first speech. Yeah. 